Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Dragon Quest VI. All right, last episode, we got Gracos's trident and some other items. Let me go ahead and uh, put some of them away. <clears throat> Since we don't really need them at the moment. And Gracos's... Mm, pardon me. Gracos's trident. Not as good as what uh, Ald currently has. Can also be used as a tool during battle. Uh, again, not as good as what Carver has, but is better than what uh, Nevin has. However, I think I'd like to see what it does in battle before I get rid of it. I don't know what these uh, other tools do. Let me see if uh, you have to be outside to use them. Let's uh, get into a fight. Budding sorcerers. Defend, actually. You can defend. Magma Staff and Watermall Wand. <clears throat> Okay, doesn't work. Okay, so it looks like the, uh, um... Oh, Ashlyn learns a new ability, Dazzle Flash. Uh, it looks like the Magma Staff has to be used outside. And Gracos' Trident just buffs yourself, which is not all that great. In that case... I mean, it's not even kabuff. You can go ahead and equip that. All right. Well, let's go ahead and zoom. Switch worlds. Yeah, I think I'll go to Felonia. <clears throat> that does seem to be the easiest way to uh, get there. Hi, enemies. How's it going? Let's go with multi fists. Let's go with thin air. Let's go with the staff vine. Actually, magma staff. Maybe the water mall wand has to be done on... Yeah, okay, so you have to do that on water. That's what I was beginning to suspect. And I imagine the magma staff is not going to work here. Yep, nothing happens here. Okay. Carver's mind is confused. That's unfortunate. Still, the Water Mall Wand is pretty good on the water. I will definitely uh, use that. I imagine it won't work underwater, though. 622 experience points, and Nevin's level increases to 30. 6 hit points, 3 MP, 3 strength and wisdom, 2 agility and resilience, 1 style, 376 gold coins. I should use the Big Book of Beasts soon as well, so we can uh, take a look at what we've faced and stuff like that. <clears throat> Alright, Poseidon. Why do you guys look like humans under the water? Well, Matt, you are welcome at the court of Poseidon, ruler of the deep. 
with that miserable miscreant Gracchus out of the picture, the ocean is a much more pleasant place. I thank you for your efforts. Now I promise to share a secret with you, and so I shall. The secret concerns a legendary shield. In the small room of repetition, the true path forward lies at three levels down and two levels up. So, does that sound useful to you? I have heard that there are three such secrets in total. I'm afraid I only know that one, but I'm, af but I'm sure if you travel the world, you will hear the others too. I wish your, you brave souls much luck in your quest. All right, well, we'll have to keep that in mind at the appropriate time, which is not right now. We might be able to do it now, but I'm not going to. There is a, there is a new town to visit. We zoom to uh, switch worlds. And where do we want to go? Clearvale, I think. That might do it. I think this is it. Let's see, what do we uh what do we face around here? Anything fresh and new? Not really. Roundhouse kick. Actually thin air probably would not do a whole lot against them, would it? Magma staff should be okay. That's pretty good damage. Alright, um, I was saying that I should take a look at the Big Book of Beasts. Let's go ahead and do so. Alright, so we've got uh, all of these guys. I still have not encountered enough Scare Roots to know exactly what they drop. I mean, yeah, it's probably a medicinal herb, but... Considering everything else, also have not encountered enough lips. Or stumpkins. 41 leery louts. Slain. Looking for anything interesting. Uh, crested loons, I need one more to see what they drop. Budding sorcerers, they do drop cypress sticks, because I've gotten one. Goblin pixies, I don't know. I will probably at some point near the end go fight enough enemies just to see what they all drop. 37 she slimes. How many slimes have I killed? Only 30. Okay. Uh, baby goils, bamboo spears, slime knights, copper swords, ruffled goons, medicinal herbs, mutt mannequins, magic water is always nice. Iron Claws from Silencing Rams, Hell Hornets, Antidotal Herb, Dead Residents, Oaken Clubs, Blooming Sorcerers, I have not encountered enough, Gustodians, Plain Clothes, Shadows, Seeds of Resilience, might be a good idea to uh, try and grind against them at some point, Canna Boxes, Seeds of Agility, uh, Poison Moth Knives from Giant Moths, kind of makes sense. I have, I, this is one that I went out and searched for, the Loathsome Leak. Um, I've only encountered one so far. Rotten Cottons, don't know what they drop. Tree Fellers, Burning Men, they drop Seeds of Life. It's good to keep in mind. Deadly Dodos, Guardvarks, they drop Seeds of Agility. Wellwisher, Damselfly, 36 Damselflies killed. Hermit Pixies, drop Iron Staves. Feral Beasts, don't know. Grim Grinners, don't know. Probably a Shield, though based on what the other ones drop. Does have an Ultima 7 ring eye. Um, Level Lamps drop Seeds of Resilience as well. Now, just because it says that they drop that doesn't mean it's like a, a 1 in 4 or 1 in 64. Some, sometimes it's like a 1 in 4, sometimes it's a 1 in 8, 1 in 64, 1 in 256, something like that. So it does vary from individual to individual. Hell Ninos drop pretty... 
uh, pretty Betsy's. I've fought 34 of them and never gotten one, so, you know. Um, heal Slimes drop Prayer Rings. I have not gotten any of those. Wild Carrots don't know. Borkers drop Seeds of Strength, and I have gotten one from those. Gold Ring from Goodie Bags. Rags from Walking Corpses. Devil Glasses I have not encountered enough. Thalmato Bats, Bow Ties. Mud Slingers, Yggdrasil Leaves. Makes sense. I fought 40 animated armors. Uh, finally fought a Mimic, and they drop Seeds of Life. So that fills out uh, an earlier page that was uh, missing. Um, I've fought 49 Argoyles, and I've never gotten a Stone Axe from them. Not that I would want one, but... Pesky Jesters drop Chain Sickles. Harmers, Iron Armor. Cloak of, cloaks of Evasion from Cloud Surfers. Skull Riders, I don't know what they drop. Slumbering Rams, Moonwarp Bulbs. I think that this is one that uh, I had missed and I had to go back and find. Undentured Servants. I've killed 48 of them. Sluggernauts drop Dancer's Costumes. Sorcerers, I don't know what they drop. Scorching Men, don't know what they drop. Metal Slimes, I've fought six of them. Or defeated six of them, I should say. It's a pretty good number. Antidotal Herbs from Toxic Turnips, 29 of those. Prickly Pranksters, don't know. Unexpecteds, don't know. Unicorns, don't know. Lesser Demons, I fought 29 of those, wow. Gust Blusters, 28 of those. They drop Hermes Hats, okay. Uh, let's see, uh, Seeds of Wisdom from Stinker Bells. It's good to keep knowing. Uh, I have defeated two uh, Rock Bombs. Um, I had to go find these guys because, uh, the only time that I encountered them otherwise was, uh, the time they killed me. 49 Gaspagons, holy cow. 42 uh, Demon Riders, drop Bone Stakes, haven't gotten one of those. Brimstone Bulbs, Metal Slime Knights, Steel Broadswords, Seeds of Agility from Muddy Hands, Battering Rams, Dark Goils, Aristobats, um... I believe Aristobats are encounterable around here. Fuddle Guanas fought 32 of those. They drop Lucida Shards. Hmm. So you can get more of those. All right. Hellstalkers, three. Dreameras, 28. One Shell Slime. 30 fine Yonoceroses. Yeah, these are the these uh, ones that are close to 40. A lot of these I encountered in the uh, Spiegel Spire, and that's where I went to... Um, get just enough levels uh, to get our uh, classes mastered a little while ago. Model She Slimes, don't know what they drop. Scarewells, 16 of them. Have not gotten any more trailblazing bandanas from them. Axoruses, Jumping Jackals, Hocus Dream Arrows, Haunted Mirrors, four of those. Cine Sculptures, they drop Stone Axes. Okay. Bloody Hands, they drop Pretty Betsy's. I have fought 24 of them and still not gotten one. Chumposaurus. Trolls. King Slimes. Noble Gaspagons. Only encountered one. Uh, eight Griffins. Low Jinx. Cure Slimes. Only encountered one of those. Borkers. Uh, Drackle. Six of those. Magic Marionette. Marionettes. Only one. Freezing Fogs. Seven of those. Corpse Corporals. Three. Sputterflies, two. Did get the bunny suit from one. Bomboulder, one. Liquid Metal Slime. Not defeated any of them yet. 19 Cauldrones, 24 Wet Kissers, 14 Dread Herrings. They drop Seeds of Agility. Marine Spirits drop Seeds of Life. I fought 14 of those. Thriller Waves, not encountered enough of those. Yabbies drop Pot Lids. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Shelmets from the Sea Slimes, Mad Mallards, don't know what they drop. Eveals, or Eveals, Steel Fangs, have not gotten any of those. Sea Fortresses, don't know. Octavian Pirates drop Iron Masks, fought 26 of them now. 27 Armored War Toices, drop Tortoise Shells, naturally. Heldorados drop Steel Flat. Uh, Steel Fangs, Killer Waves, 
Only fought four of those. Water Wraiths, they also drop Seeds of Life. Wizardly Whip from a Perky Pelican. Hmm. Might want to go try and get some. Saw Blades from the Poison of Eel. Uh, Crazies, Drock Pink Pearls, Fin Fatals, don't know. Octavian Sentries, don't know. Merkings, don't know. It's kind of a shame that it doesn't include the uh, bosses in this, though. Okay, so that's everything in the Big Book of Beasts. What does Sorceria have for us? Welcome, fine visitors, to Sorceria. As we like to say, this is where the magic happens. Our homeland is finally free now that you've defeated the dread fiend of the of Seabed Shrine. Ah, how long we Sorcerians have waited your arrival. Too long. So this is the magical city of Sorceria. Funny, I feel like I already know my way around the place. Haha, <laughs> Sorceria's back in business. It stinks to be you, Gracos. It is a wonderful thing to see you here, quite wonderful. We weren't entirely idle during our long imprisonment, you know. Our minds were ever observant, constantly watching over the world. Yes, we even watched Ashlyn the Acolyte grow into a fine young woman. Just so, this is the Acolyte's place of birth. And her magical strength was quite mighty enough to deflect the Dread Fiend's binding seal. That is why the Acolyte's mind was not locked away like ours. But at what cost? It was the brute force of the magical clash that likely brought about Ashland's amnesia. Huh? My word, Sorceria seems to be Ashland's hometown. Wait, wh what? What's going on here? Crikey, did I hear that right? Ashland was born here? So is she really a dream person? That despicable dread fiend has wrought doom and gloom on Sorceria more than once, you know. Calamity first called when a rain of fire wiped our town from the face of the real world. Thus we escaped to the dream world, our souls rent forever from our flesh. But our respite was to be short-lived. The dread fiend soon found our sanctuary. Before long, our new dream city and the island it was built upon were banished. So their suffering continued even after they'd escaped to the dream world. That's terrible. Calamity ain't gonna come calling a third time now that we're around. Wow, I was in a good mood until I heard that story. Oh, poor Ashlyn. Is it really all so tragic? With the kind of magic we wield, we can continue to lead normal lives, even without our physical bodies. So no one in this town has a body? They just exist in some spiritual form? Our magical powers can't compare with those of Sorcerians. It seems that everyone here is extremely adept at using magic. I don't know, I'd be pretty ticked if I lost my body after all the work I put into it. <laughs> Welcome to the village shop. I've got all kinds of things for sale here. What can I do for you? All kinds of things, he says. All kinds of things, he says. I mean, that would be better for Gawain. But I probably have one in a... Yeah, I've got one in my bag. It's most peculiar, but in the house just north of here lives a couple who couldn't be more different from the Sorens if they tried. They mostly keep to themselves. I haven't even seen them more than a handful of times. Ah, Ashlyn, it's you. Truly no one could be more worthy of leading us than the Acolyte. We are all aware, of course, that you have other matters to attend to first. But I cannot wait for the day when you return to us for good. I'm not sure that Ashlyn likes that. Huh? Ow, why'd you stop like that for? That's smarts. Don't oh, quit whining, you cry baby. The fire is down to its embers. How are we gonna roast our ch any chestnuts now? Huh? Uh oh, you're right. Um, how does that spell go again? Frizz. Save some chestnuts for the squirrels. You'll never be petite and pretty like Ashmerelda with that appetite. Ashmerelda? 
What do you say? Well, fine. I was going to share some, but not now. And now they're chasing the other way. Yippee! Yay! Yippee! Yay! There you go. You caught him. Hmm. Ashmerelda. I wonder if that's... Could that be Ashlyn's real name or something? I don't know where this is going. Kitty! Another kitty! Now, now don't, don't hiss at me, kitty. That's not nice. Rude. All books at the bookshelves. There don't seem to be any particularly interesting books. In Sorceria. Ald finds uh, the Fairy Tale Forest Dreamscape. Ald's Dreamscape collection has increased by one. Ald finds the Chili Cavern Dreamscape. Ald's Dreamscape collection has increased by one. What a mini medal! Nobody acquires a mini medal! Aw, sleepy kitty. Sleepy old man. Can, can I, can I leave? Uh... No? Okay. <laughs> Not sure what's going on there, but okay. Ow, I think I skinned my elbows. You're clumsier than a walking corpse. Oh, y oh I think that's a girl. You're clumsier than a walking corpse. Oh, you're bleeding quite badly. Heal. They're all better. Thanks a lot. Now it's my turn to catch you. Beware of imposters. going on here mm, you seeking someone in particular yes oh well allow me to help morph <laughs> what do you say to that is this who you seek that's a mighty power of morph you see quite useful actually I only learned it recently myself but enough antics have you seen my wife around I simply have no account of where she is Curses, where has that near-do-well wife of mine wandered off to? Remind me never to get hitched. Morph. Oh, I guess I don't have what it takes. Hee <laughs> hee, where indeed? Shh. Protect my secret. I cast Morph on myself to see what life was like as a feline. But alas, the spell that returns me to normal has slipped my mind. Still, my current predicament is perf- Preferable to uh, putting up with my insufferable husband all the all the live long day. So please don't let this cat out of the bag. Got it? Right. Meow, meow, etc. Uh, I think your cat wants some meow mix. My word, she doesn't seem all that bothered by her current condition. Boy, it must be awfully awful when your your memory starts slipping like that. Says one of the three people who have amnesia. Yeah, kind of a catty old lady, eh? <laughs> Look at these cute kitties. Joints jumping with cats, eh? What does some crazy cat lady live here or something? Indeed, look at all the cute kitties. <laughs> One of whom is not really a kitty. Alright, what do we have on the other side of town? We've got a well. Hello? All sorcerians fancy themselves magicians, but that doesn't mean we all excel at magical arts. Why take me? The town would fall down if, like loose bricks if laborers like me didn't dig the ditches. Just so. It takes all sorts to make a city, even a magical one. I... 
I feel like it's starting to come back to me. That makes sense to me. We all gotta do what we all gotta do. All peers into the well. All peers into the well. Wells upon wells. More wellception. Old examines the treasure chest. What a prayer ring! Alt acquires the prayer ring. This religious ring recovers some MP whenever it's used. Uh, defense would go up. Style would go up. Let me go ahead and transfer that to you. Uh, no. Would that be better? You've got a gold bracer. Defense would go down. Style would go up slightly. You don't need to equip it. You just need to hold it. All right, a prayer ring. Pretty nice. <laughs> this house is home to a gifted elderly couple. Quite gifted indeed. They create items infused with magic. Their curse has just been lifted, though, so they're still a bit out of sorts. I can think of nothing that would rouse them now. Nothing short of a personal request from the Eldress. Well, what about me? What if I request? What a vial of magic water! Alt acquires the magic water! They're both sleeping like logs. Let's not wake them up. Mm, I doubt they'll be up anytime soon. That's weird. I feel so calm when I look at these people's faces. I wonder why. Could they be your parents or grandparents? Ah, Eldris is no more. Ah. Okay. Ooh. Secret staircase. Have to keep an eye out for that. All right, no um no item shops out here or I mean weapon shops out here. Hello. It brings joy to my heart to see you here. Miss no more. Our town's eldress lives in a house on the water. She uses the stair use the staircase ahead to make your way that over there. Ooh, waterfront waterfront property. Isn't she lucky? Made it this far. Might as well say hello to the eldress. I sense that the eldress has many interesting tales to tell us. Are you familiar with the flying carpet perhaps? Uh no, no we're not. Well, if you had one of those, soaring over oceans and flatlands would be as easy as a stroll down the boulevard. But its whereabouts these days are a complete mystery, I regret to say. One rumor has it that some well-to-do gent has taken, had taken possession of it, but who knows if that's still the case. Well-to-do gent has the carpet? Ugh, I hate dealing with, fan with rich fancy pants. Do you have any idea who this gent might be, Ald? Oh, don't the words flying carpet make your heart sore? I don't know about that. It certainly sounds like fun. Well, now that is a very blingy statue. This is an orb of energy. Within it dwells a wondrous light that can replenish one's mystical energy. This is an orb of healing. Within it dwells a wondrous light that can soothe all wounds, mental and physical. Don't mind if I do. Is everyone's magical power restored? That orb is really something. Bright enough for you? My eyes are bedazzled. Crikey, I think the tingling means it worked. This statue of the goddess contains the spiritual remains of Ashmerelda, great sorceress of legend. Once every century, a new leader for our people is born from this very edifice. Um... Okay, so, uh, my suspicion that those two pa people were Ashlyn's parents or grandparents? Probably wrong. It looks like the golden statue is her, one of her parents. Welcome to the weapon shop. What can I do for you? What do you need? Uh, Dream Blade, 
Don't need that. Staff of Anti-Magic. Don't need that. Lunar Fan. Kind of disappointed that uh, it's not still the, uh, the good one. Wizardly Whip. This is a deadly whip. Can attack a whole group of enemies at once. Um, I guess I will get one. Yeah, go ahead and reorganize all. Decide what to do later. Could get one for Healy, but I don't need to put Healy in the party. Welcome to the armor shop. How can I serve you? What would you like to buy? Uh, Ledger to Mantle is not good anymore. Magical Skirt. No, not necessary. Magic Armor. Um, not better for anyone. Magic Shield. Don't need one. Alright. That's unfortunate. All right, but when we come back next time, we'll go speak to the Eldress. See you then, everyone.